Miss Jones. My name is Patty. I'm your CNA today. How are you? Wonderful. I need to empty your urinary drainage bag. Is that okay? I'm going to close your curtain, wash my hands, get my supplies, and I'll be right back. I need a barrier to put down and a set of gloves. going to get an alcohol pad and a urine measuring container. First thing I'm going to do is open my alcohol pad. We're going to open the alcohol pad and set it aside. I want to take a quick look at the urinary drainage tubing, make sure it's not kinked, it's not laying on the floor, make sure you're not laying on your catheter so that the urine can flow freely. Everything looks good. I'm going to apply my gloves. And I'm very carefully going to remove the port from its little housing unit. We're going to slide the opener to the side, bring the urine cup within reach, and I'm very carefully going to tip it up and position the port over the container. You want to make sure that the port does not touch the inside of the container. Ms. Jones, are you doing okay? And we're going to empty the urinary drainage bag. I need to keep this port very steady so it doesn't touch the inside of the container or anything in the environment. Once it's stopped draining, I'm going to close the port. Take an alcohol pad and wipe off the outside. Roll it up and clean just the very tip of the inside. That way if any bacteria did get in there, we'll get it before it enters the bag itself. Once the port is clean, we'll very carefully insert it back into its housing. Now I'm going to take this over to the toilet to measure it, dump it, and clean it. Ms. Jones, are you doing okay? I'll be right back to get you situated. I'm going to throw the alcohol pad away and I'm going to set the urine container down onto the toilet making sure it's on the barrier that way if there's any urine on the container it doesn't touch the toilet. And I'm going to get down at eye level to measure this. You're going to round to the nearest line and as I can see that's 350. This will get thrown away. And we're going to put the urine in the toilet. Rinse it out. And we'll put the rinse water in the toilet as well. Now we'll clean our container. Spray it with disinfectant. Paper towel to pick it up. Paper towel to dry the inside, paper towel to dry the outside, and one for the drawer. I'm going to throw these away and remove my gloves. Okay, Ms. Jones, you doing okay? I'm just going to check, check your catheter out one last time. Make sure the tubing looks good and you're not laying on it. Everything looks good. You have your call light. Is there anything else I can do for you while I'm here? Okay, I'm going to open your curtain, wash my hands, and I'm going to document my skill. I'm going to document the time, 
The type of output is urine. The amount in cc's is 350 and my initials. Let's stop, take a minute to think about all the steps of my skill, make any corrections as necessary, and my skill is done. Need scrubs for your new career? Visit foryouruniforms.com and enter the code CNA video for a special discount. Need additional resources? For your CNA has what you need. With practice tests, an online workbook, instructional videos, practice kits and supplies, and our very own skills book with step-by-step -step instructions, you will feel confident when you take the CNA exam. Visit foryourcna.com today. Continuing education for CNAs are called in-services. In-services are now offered online at foryourcna.com.